हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेरी वेलकम इन आर न्यू वीडियो इन विच वी विल जज हाउ टू फाइंड आउट द कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री फंक्शन ओके सो इन ऑर्डर टू फाइंड आउट द कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री फंक्शन वी हैव स्टडीड इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर देन फर्स्ट वी हैव टू राइट आउट द इक्वेशन नंबर टू ए ओके दिस इज अ नॉन होमोजीनियस डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन इन अ होमोजीनियस फॉर्म एंड देन वॉट वी विल डू वी विल रिप्लेस डी टू अपॉन डी एक्स टू बाय द डी टू कैपिटल डी टू एंड डी अपॉन डी टी बाय द कैपिटल डी ओके देन वी विल हैव द ऑपरेटर फॉर्म डी टू वाई प्लस पी डी वाई प्लस क्यू वाई दैट इज इक्वल टू जीरो एंड दिस ऑपरेटर फॉर्म कैन बी सेग्रीगेटेड यूजिंग दिस पर्टिकुलर एक्सप्रेशन ओके एंड in order to find out the auxiliary equation what we have to do we have to replace d by a variable m now this operator form can be written in a particular variable form and we can find out the roots of the auxiliary equation now we will move forward in the next in this next video now everything depends on the nature of these roots now if the nature of the roots m1 and m2 i want to clear you one thing that if there is a second order differential equation the roots will be 2 if there is a third order differential equation the roots will be 3 or if there is a fourth order differential equation there will be four roots you can note that so i am taking here a second order differential equation therefore i have taken two roots that are m1 and m2 so now if the nature of the roots is real and distinct so if the nature of the roots m1 m2 is real and distinct then the complementary function complementary function will be cf equal to c1 e to the power m1x plus c2 e to the power m2x okay now this particular problem will be more effective when we will have an example of this problem so we will go through an example i am taking a second order differential equation let's write it d2 y upon dx2 minus 8 dy upon dx plus 15 y that is equal to 0 so what we are seeing here we are seeing here that this is a differential equation that is homogeneous in nature so it is homogeneous because the right hand side of the equation having no terms means the non homogeneous term is zero in this particular equation now in order to find out the solution of this equation we first have to write the equation in a particular operator form in order to write it in the operator form how will we how we can write this d2y upon dx2 will stand for the d2y minus 8 dy upon dx will stand for dy and plus 15y that is equal to 0 it means if we segregate the dependent variable and the operator then we can have d2 minus 8d plus 15y that is equal to 0 now this is the 
पर्टिकुलर ऑपरेटर फॉर्म ऑफ दिस इक्वेशन राइट नाउ इन ऑर्डर टू राइट द ऑक्सिलरी इक्वेशन वी हैव टू रिप्लेस डी बाई एम सो द ऑक्सिलरी इक्वेशन विल बी नाउ सो द ऑक्सिलरी इक्वेशन विल बी हाउ कैन वी राइट दिस इट कैन बी रिटर्न रिप्लेस डी बाई एम सॉरी रिप्लेस डी बाई एन अनदर वेरिएबल एम सो वी गेट हियर एम टू माइनस एट एम प्लस फिफ्टीन दैट विल बी इक्वल टू जीरो नाउ दिस इज अ सेकेंड ऑर्डर एल्जेब्रिक इक्वेशन सॉरी दिस इज अ सेकेंड डिग्री एल्जेब्रिक इक्वेशन विच इज कॉल्ड अ क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशन इन ऑर्डर टू फाइंड आउट इट्स रूट वॉट वी हैव टू डू वी हैव टू टेक द फैक्टर्स और डिवाइजर्स ऑफ फिफ्टीन इन सच अ वेज हु समेशन शुड बी एट ओके That will be five three is a fifteen. So it can be written as m two minus three m minus five m plus fifteen. That is equal to zero. If we move forward, that will be m can be taken as common m minus three minus five. It will be m minus three. That is equal to zero. So here are m minus three and m minus five are the two. factors of this particular equation so here we are having two roots that is m equal to 3 and 5 both are real and distinct as we have discussed in our particular uh, if i highlight this with a red button here the roots m1 m2 real and distinct okay so here roots 3 and 5 are real and distinct so here we can see here we can see the roots of the equation auxiliary equation i can write it a dot e in short are real and distinct such that m1 equals to 3 and m2 equals to 5 then the complementary function will be equals to c1 e to the power m1x that is 3x plus c2 e to the power m2x that is 5x i just want to make sure one thing the complementary function can be c1 e to the power 5x plus c2 e to the power 3x so there is no difference if we are having 5 in the place of 3 and 3 in the place of 5 one thing also you have to note one thing that i want to make you noted note in case of homogeneous differential equation the homogeneous differential equation means fd y equals to 0 the complementary function will be the solution of the homogeneous differential equation hde means homogeneous differential equation that should be noted so this is the first time first type of the complementary function evaluation now we will move forward and we will discuss the another type so let's move there 
ओके नेक्स्ट वी कैन सी इफ द रूट्स ऑफ द ऑक्सिलर इक्वेशन ऑफ द ऑक्सिलर इक्वेशन आर एम वन इक्वल्स टू एम टू दैट इज एम दैट मीन्स द रूट्स आर इक्वल एंड रियल देन द कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री फंक्शन विल बी सी वन प्लस सी टू एक्स ई टू दी पावर एम एक्स राइट सो दिस विल बी द कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री फंक्शन ओके सो वी विल ऑल्सो ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड इट दिस टाइप ऑफ इवेल्युएशन ऑफ कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री फंक्शन विद द हेल्प ऑफ एन एग्जाम्पल लेट्स मूव फॉरवर्ड सो लेट मी चेक एन एग्जाम्पल हु इज हैविंग दिस काइंड ऑफ नेचर yes there is an example okay so next example is d2y upon dx2 plus minus 8 dy upon dx plus 16y that is equal to zero here is the second order differential equation okay in order to find out the complementary function the operator form of this equation will be d2 y minus 8 d plus 16 y that will be equal to zero segregate the operator form d2 minus 8 d and then plus 16 take y that is equal to 0 okay now the auxiliary equation will be m2 minus 8m plus 16 that is equal to 0 now our main target is to factorize this quadratic differential equation so in order to factorize it we have to take the divisors of 16 in such a way whose sum should be 8 so how can we take that uh okay so m2 minus 4m Minus four m plus sixteen that is equal to zero. Okay, and then common m m minus four minus four m minus sixteen. Oh sorry, pardon. M minus four that is equal to zero. It means m minus four m minus four. that is equal to 0 i just want to make you understand that you can directly write it as a m minus 4 whole square okay so you can directly write it m minus 4 whole square equals to 0 that depends on you you can write it directly or you can have a factorization of it then m equal to 4 and 4 are the roots of this particular differential particular auxiliary equation now the complementary function that is also the solution of this equation yx will be equal to c1 plus c2x e to the power 4x and this is our required answer so <clears throat> this is the second type this is all in this video in the next video we will talk about the roots of an equation if r complex or in the form of complex number then how can we handle those roots
okay we will meet in the next video thank you very much take care and please if you like the content like share and subscribe the video